Okay. So, moving on to a cri Hold on. to a Christmas special that I've watched for years. A very good one, one that I grew up with, and that is Santa Claus. He's coming to town, and yes, eggnog. So, what do we say here? It's a Christmas classic. You have Mickey Rooney, you have Keenan Wynn, you have Paul Fries as Burger Meister, Meister Burger. The story is Chris Kringle, played by Mickey Rooney, was uh, left at the doorstep with the name Claus. He was raised by the Kringles, who are a family of Santa Claus looking people, except for Tanta Kringle, who looks like a, who's a woman. So, so she looks like Mrs. Claus. And he's raised by these peoples, these toy makers, who never get to, you know, share their toys. But then one day, Chris Kringle, now grown up, says, hey, I'm going to share it with the kids of this small town, but Burger Meister Meister Burger, because he's an idiot and keeps tripping over toys, decides, hey, I, I don't like toys, so I'm going to make it illegal to have toys in my town. It's his fault he keeps tripping over them, I don't know. But that's what happens. And so it's basically the origin of Santa Claus. And if there's one thing I gotta criticize, it's that it wasn't in the summer that I really saw this. I make a big deal about the Winter Warlock and how he's so dangerous and so evil and, and you don't want to cross him, but he does cross him and it just takes a choo-choo. Seriously, like, he comes, like, make a big deal about how you don't want to be anywhere near the Winter Warlock because he's evil and he's dark and he will, you know, do bad things to you, and then when Kringle, when Chris Kringle comes across him, all it takes is giving him a choo-choo, a choo-choo, and his heart unfreezes, and he's a good guy, and now he's helping Chris Kringle. Eh, kind of all that build up to nothing, you know? But, there's this woman, whose name I don't remember, but she ends up being Mrs. Claus, you know she's going to. I do like the gag, when they do the reindeer, they start calling out the reindeer and they call out eight, but then they're like, and don't forget, and they show Rudolph and the narrator, who's Fred Astaire by the way, goes, no, no, that's a different story. I do like that. I also like the fact that they actually go to lengths to explain why Santa only goes, comes around once a year. Here, he's coming around every night. But each night he does it, it gets more dangerous. And Burgermeister starts sending out more people to catch him. So it ends up changing from that to once a year so that it's easier for Santa. Makes sense. Although I do think that this has one of the creepiest looking Santas. Once Chris becomes Santa at the end of this special... He looks drunk off his ass. He's just like... I understand he's supposed to be cheery, but he's in his little sleigh, and he's like... And look, don't get me wrong, it's Rankin Bass, and sometimes Rankin Bass puppets can be a little creepy looking. But this Santa Claus, he's like... Just say it. And I love the music, you know, you got... Fred Astaire singing Santa Claus is Coming to Town. You got the duet with Mickey Rooney and Keenan Wynn where they sing, Put one foot in front of the other And soon you'll be walking across the floor And you have the song from Mrs. Claus, which I did not listen to, but it has wonderful visuals. I had to sound off. I've seen this a million times. It has wonderful visuals where it goes from, instead of the Rankin Bass puppets, it goes to Rankin Bass animation, which is some... Some of my favorite animation. Some of my best... You know, I have a whole bunch of VHS tapes of Rankin Bass cartoons. Like, fairy tale cartoons like Robin Hood and Peter Pan and 
ones like that. I love Rankin Bass. And this is probably, you know, it's up there with Frosty the Snowman and the Rudolph the Red Nosed Rainy Deer. But yes, this is one of my favorite Christmas specials. And because it's a TV special, I don't have to give it a rating. Keep that in mind. So, yes, this is fantastic. It's a little, it's a little short, but what else can I say? Uh, Burger Meister Meister Burger will always be a funny name to me. Paul Fries, who you don't, if you don't know, is also the voice of Ludwig, Ludwig von Drake in the Disney World. May he rest in peace. I believe he passed away quite a while ago. He's great. And there's Mickey Rooney, his greatest Santa Claus. And I'm sorry, I think maybe that's why he wasn't so fond of, you know, because you, you're like, okay, what are some of the greatest TV movie Santa Claus? Tim Allen. The guy from America on 34th Street, you know, um, some other ones, you know, but Mickey Rooney is a good one, you know, but, uh, I think Mickey Rooney is an unrated Santa Claus, underrated, not unrated, we don't want Mickey Rooney to be an unrated Santa Claus. Uh-uh. Eh, eh, eh. Nope. He's underrated. Okay? Keep it in your pants, Mickey. Anyway, that is all for this review. I gotta get going. I gotta refill the old eggnog here. I uh, will be filming reviews throughout this day. If you're watching this on the day this comes out, it is Wednesday, the 23rd of December. And I will be recording reviews to go out on the 24th. And the 25th, so that I finished my Christmas stuff. So, there is that. But, I thank you for watching, and I ask you humbly, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I have been Santa Scotty. Ho, ho, ho. And you put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. You put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking out the door. But I've got to turn off the camera. Bye-bye.